Hi, and welcome to an introductory tutorial for BlazePath. First, a little bit on the suite. BlazePath is a low-code platform for the development of all kinds of applications, starting from a simple app, like the one we are going to be building in this video series, to high-complexity ones, such as workforce management, resource management, amongst other common enterprise software. In this video series, our mission is to illustrate how BlazePath works and to get familiarized with the platform. To this end, we will be building a simple quizzes app. Each question will belong to a category like general knowledge, science and nature, sports, geography, history and entertainment. The questions will have several possible answers but only one will be the correct one. Uh, two different systems will be built. Uh, the first one, a mobile application in which a user will be able to play by using a name and a category. The second one will consist on a web application in which an admin user will be able to edit categories and quizzes, allowing the creation, edition and deletion of these objects. Also, a past game history log will be available with the ranking of the games with the most score and less elapsed time. First, we will be explaining the general game design. This diagram contains the definition of the game logic for the mobile application. And we are going to have two systems, the mobile application and the microservice that serves it with persistence. If we look at the mobile application, the game can be divided into three phases. In the first one, the player will pick a nickname and the game topic for the quiz. The second phase will have the player challenging rounds of quizzes and in each round the player will be presented with a quiz and then display the options and once the player picks from the options, it will show the result and check for an end of game condition. If it's not the end of the game, a new round will start and the whole process will begin again. In case the game is finished, the last phase of the game starts, in which the player will be presented with the number of questions he got right. If we look at the microservice section, we can see four exposed endpoints. These are the game start, new round start, end current round, and, and get game state. So, now that we have a basic explanation of how the game works, to start building, we the first thing we need to do is to create a new workspace. A workspace is a local folder in which we will be saving our different solutions, resources, and extensions. By clicking on the blaze path icon, we can see the new option. And then we search for an empty folder where we can save our work. To do this, we right click, create the folder, and then we click select folder. The next step is to create a solution which will contain the implementation of our quizzes application. To do this, we click on the arrow, select new in the solution section. We give it a name, the quizzes name. And if we already have previous work, we can extend another solution from our same workspace. But since this is our first solution and we are building from scratch, we're going to skip that. Once we created the solution, we will be able to see the name on the title bar on top. Now we will create the solution architecture through our diagram tool. So we will be clicking on this icon. And if we press the control key, we can also see a description of each one. The adding of new elements to the diagram is drag and drop. So we are going to be needing to add four elements for this application. These are a web frontend where we will build a 
user interface that the admin user can use to administer the configuration, a mobile application with the user interface that the end user will use to play the series of quizzes that the admin user has configured, a database which will store all the information, quizzes, game history, and the microservice that will expose APIs which will be used to admin and play. It will offer the web application methods to add, edit, and remove quizzes and topics, and will offer logic to play games and runs to the mobile application. This microservice will be charged with persisting the information on the database. We call the different elements in this diagram systems. And to be able to access a system from another, we need to connect it. We just need to drag the connection from one element to the other. The direction of the arrow indicates who can call the other one. So let's see. The microservice quizzes needs to call the database to be able to read and store the information. At the same time, the web application will need to connect to the microservice. And in this way, we can obtain through the microservice all the quiz related data. Furthermore, the mobile application will need to connect to the same microservice to be able to start games and play the rounds. And so this completes the architecture diagram. Now let's see the generated elements. By clicking on the second icon on the main menu on the left, we will find the Explorer. From here, we can see the different systems that were created after the architecture configuration. We can also explore the internal structure that BlazePath has and this structure is organized in folders and each folder will contain JSON files with the definition of the functions, types and other resources. These files can be edited if necessary from a normal text editor. Once we are done with the architecture, we are ready to start designing our database.